Okay, so video number four is on uh, two topics, really. One is, um, you can see that the borers got to this organic zucchini. This thing did really, really well um, here in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Um, but still, the season, you know, given the season, they will succumb, I think, to those those guys. But anyway, this thing rooted, stayed rooted either here or rooted somewhere else along the way, and it's still got new growth, so I'm gonna leave it and try, okay? Same thing happened with that one over there, right? I'm gonna mix in that mound of diatomaceous earth and, uh, I don't know, plant something there. Maybe beets as well, more beets. I planted a lot of beets, but they're coming in kind of thin. So I don't know if that's a nutrient problem in the soil because of these jumping worms, quite quite frankly. Okay, I'm gonna feed these things anyway with um, the next topic. But those eggplant are coming slowly as I guess they do. I don't know. Um, okay, so the second topic is this stuff, which is the tomato tone. And I put it on, I don't know, a month or so ago. Probably not as recently as I should have for organic gardening. I like that. And um, what is it essentially? Calcium and potash. Uh, okay. So, and that has definitely helped. But I think the tomato growth or regular growth, I should say, uh, was kind of stunted a little bit because I didn't put that stuff on again uh, a couple weeks ago so I'm gonna hit it again and that's topic number two um, of this video one was let's see if these zucchini redo they have part two I pulled one plant already but those produce really well this we know about I'm gonna mix it and replant see how we do peppers are finally coming in okay I picked already like I don't know three dozen of those just earlier off of all different plants here so that's good. Here's jumping worm soil. Again, just for your reference. That's the texture of it. Can't help but to seem obsessed. Diatomaceous earth on this little basil that's probably hurting for sun, but something else is getting it. And with that, video number four of what's going on in my garden. Good luck and uh, Hope you enjoy every step of it like I do.